Hi, I'm Eric. I'm building a mid-range PC for about $1,500 with uh, a Core i5 processor, a GTX 970, and a water cooling system from Corsair. Uh, nowadays, building a water-cooled PC uh, is a lot easier with self-contained units like this. And um, if you're interested in building it for yourself, then maybe watching this video will help you to see what it's like. This is the Corsair Graphite Series 380T case. The motherboard is an Asus Z97i Plus Mini ITX motherboard. The processor is an Intel i5 Devil's Canyon, which is quad core and 3.5 gigahertz. The backplate really pushes the motherboard forward so it was a bit difficult to get the screws aligned with holes on the motherboard. I ended up taking the motherboard back off anyway in order to get the X-shaped CPU bracket underneath. So I would do that first. In fact, almost everything I ended up installing more than one time just because cables needed to be rerouted or I needed to install something else underneath it. I could have spent an extra hour reading all the manuals, but then I would have gotten some of that time back by not doing things in the wrong order. I only build a PC every few years, it's been four years or so, so I forget the right ways to do things, and then I have to relearn them every time. Uh, the ventilation on this case works out pretty well because the radiator of the graphics card is exhausting out one side and the radiator for the CPU cooler is, is exhausting out the other side. The only components I haven't talked about so far are the 1TB hard drive, half terabyte SSD, and 16 gigs of RAM. Unfortunately my camera battery only has about half hour charge so I didn't get quite as much as I wanted but this is pretty this is pretty boring. In fact now that I'm editing and doing the voiceover I'm kinda glad there isn't more of this. Let's skip ahead to the finished product. Okay I've got everything installed. The nice thing about this case is that the rails for the radiator or your 120 millimeter fans come out so you can get access to things on the inside and I've temporarily attached a optical drive from another PC just to install Windows as there's no optical bay on this machine. You can also use uh, an external drive if you've got one handy. I also removed the top here and routed some of the wires from the front along the top of the chassis. One thing that annoyed me about this motherboard was that even though it has onboard Wi-Fi, it didn't work properly with my wireless access point, so I had to install drivers for Ethernet and for Wi-Fi before I could get any kind of network connection at all. So building a computer is pretty easy. It's just a whole lot of plugging things in and screwing things down can save yourself a lot of time and trouble by just buying a computer, but where's the fun in that? 